Okay, we're looking at real life applications of solving equations and here is an example at a county fair. So let's say a county fair charges $5 for admission plus $2.50 for each amusement ride. If uh, your child, a just one child, we'll just take one child at a time. If a child spends $22.50 in total, how many rides did he or she take? Now I know the easiest way to figure this one out is to just, you know, figure it out with a calculator or whatever. But uh, just for the purpose of practice, we're going to turn this into an equation and solve it by algebra. Um, and there will be uh, equations later on that, that you real, you'll really need algebra for because you'll have x's on both sides. Here we'll just have an x on one side and there's only two operations. There's a subtraction and a division so it's not um, particularly uh, we don't particularly need algebra for this, but we kind of we got to practice algebra for for these um, simpler examples, just so later on we can uh, we can apply algebra to ones that we can't actually work out in our head or work out with a calculator. Anyway, so the point is, there's a five dollar admission charge, but it's two dollars fifty for each ride. Okay, does that make sense? So the first thing I want you to tell me is if you took 10 rides, okay, or if the child took 10 rides, what would the cost be? Just so we get some practice uh, setting up an equation. What would what would it be? Well, the child would have to spend $5 to get in, right? And if, if, if the child took 10 rides, that would be, it's 250 per ride, so what would you do? You'd go 250, right? And would you go times 10? Does that make sense? All right, so if a child took 10 rides, it'd be 5 plus 250 times 10. If a child took 3 rides, don't you agree that it would be $5 plus 250 times what? 3? I know I'm going a roundabout way, but I'm just practic I just want you to get, get you thinking about putting using an X. So if a child took X rides, so we're just practicing setting up an equation. If a child uh, took X rides at the amusement at the county fair, what would you do? So if it was ten rides, the the total is five plus two fifty times ten. If it's three rides, it's five plus two fifty times three. If it's X rides, it's going to be five plus what? Two dollars fifty times X. Does that make sense? And this is the total amount of money spent, isn't it? So this would be like 5 plus 25, which would be $30 and so on, right? So the total amount of money spent, we're told, is 22.50, okay? So we go 5 plus $2.50 x equals 22.50, okay? And then we solve the equation. And I know, once again, I know you can figure this out with a calculator. I'm, I'm not saying you can't, but it's just given us an opportunity to write an equation. So I'm going to give you points on your homework for just showing the work and writing an equation with X or, or some letter, A, B, whatever, and solving an equation. So it's just practice in, in, in setting up an equation and solving it. That's all. we got to start somewhere, right? So um, we've got 250 times X, but then we've got plus 5. So the first thing we got to do is subtract 5 from both sides. Right, or if you can think of it as 5.00 if you want. Right, so you're subtracting 5 from both sides. And it's kind of nice to do that because, I mean, wh okay, well, anyway, sorry, what do you get in both sides then if you subtract 5 from both sides? Sorry. So you get, did you get 250 or 2.5x? I'm just going to do that, 2.5x, 2.50, same thing. And what do you get on the right? You get 17.50, right? Or 17.5, same thing, right? And it's kind of nice to do that because, um, you know, if you were figuring this out in your head, you'd go, okay, I'll just take that number, I'll subtract 5, and that's the admission price, 5 gone, and then then you would think, well, I'll divide by 250 and I'll get the, the number of rights, right? Well, that's what we're doing here, and so you can see how the, the algebra lines up with real life. And so this is one of the reasons I want you to practice, just so you can actually see how it all ties in. So it's 2.5 times x, so to get x by itself you divide by what? Divide by 250 or 2.5, right? 
And if you're figuring this out in a calculator, that's what you do. You'd subtract 5, right? And then you divide by 250, right? So we're now, so we subtracted 5, see that? Now we're dividing by 250, right? And we get x equals, and what does that make? How many 2.5s in 1750? Here's one way of doing it. Multiply the top and bottom by something to get rid of the decimals. What do you get? So you can times top and bottom by 10. Do you see that? And that gives you 175 over 25. Okay. Now 5 into that goes 5 times. 5 into that goes 3 times. And 2 over 5 into 25. 5 times. 5 into 5 goes once. 5 into 35 goes 7 times. So in any case, x equals 7. Okay? So the answer is 7 rides, and of course you can check that. 7 times 250 is indeed 1750, plus 5 gives 2250.